If you want website content that actually blows up your business, I'm gonna show you how to make ChatGPT a hundred times better at writing it than you'd be able to yourself. Because the truth is, ChatGPT on its own is pretty terrible at writing websites. You know, it creates generic copy, makes stuff up, and it has no clue how to actually convert visitors into paying clients. But when you feed it the right research and use the exact prompting system that I'm about to show you, it writes website copy so good, it sounds like you hired a $10,000 copywriter. And I should know because I've actually done that and this works just as well. In this video, I'll show you the three fatal mistakes that ChatGPT normally makes when writing websites that destroy your credibility and send visitors running and the exact five-step research and prompting system that transforms ChatGPT from a low-level writer into a conversion-focused copywriting machine. I've made literally hundreds of highly converting websites for all kinds of expert-based businesses, and this is based on the only framework that ever got results for every single one of those clients. So last month, a landscaper came to me with his brand new website. He'd spent hours getting ChatGPT to write all of his copy, and he was really proud of how professional it looked. But after three months live, he'd gotten exactly zero inquiries from it. So when I looked at his site, I saw the problem pretty immediately. The headline said, we bring your outdoor dreams to life. And then the about section started with, committed to excellence in every project. Sound familiar? You know, here's the thing. 62% of your customers are less likely to trust content if they know AI created it, and AI definitely created that. But what if you could make ChatGPT write like it actually understands your business and your customers? Like, it knows exactly what's bothering them the most and what words they use to describe their problems. Well, that's coming right up, but first, let's take a look at the three huge ChatGPT flaws that destroyed this landscaper's website and probably yours too, if you've tried this. The first problem is it's literally built to be average. You know, ChatGPT was trained on millions of web pages, you know, good ones and terrible ones. So it just mushes everything together into the most middle of the road forgettable copy possible. But here's what makes this even worse. So a website's biggest job is just to clearly communicate exactly what you do and how that helps your customers. Sounds simple, right? But most websites out there completely fail at this and they complicate everything with jargon and they bury the actual service they provide under fancy words and they leave their visitors confused. So when ChatGPT copies all that mess for your website, you're doubling down on failure. People take about five seconds to decide if they're gonna stay on your site and if they can't figure out if you can even help them, their brain just says next and they're gone. The second problem is ChatGPT doesn't know how to actually convert visitors into clients. It has no clue what makes people click contact us or fill out a quote form. It doesn't just know that customer saga formula where the customer's the hero and you're the guide helping them solve their problem. It won't structure content to tell a compelling story, not on its own anyway. And that sucks because brands that use effective storytelling on their websites get about 30% more conversions. And the third problem, this one's a business killer. ChatGPT makes stuff up that can wreck your credibility, right? It'll confidently claim that you won best consulting firm in Chicago when you never did. It might say you have 20 years experience when you only have five. You know, it could invent fake testimonials or wrong industry stats. And one false claim is all it takes to make your visitors immediately lose trust in you. And trust is everything for service businesses. But my five-step AI system sidesteps all of these landmines so that you can get something that reflects your real business in a way that makes your clients sit straight forward and get really interested in working with you. So let's go over my shoulder now while we actually do this. The first step is creating what I call a business data dump. So you're gonna write out everything about your business you can think of in one document. And the point here is just to be thorough enough so it knows as much as it can about your business and don't worry about making it organized or well-written though. It can sort through all your sentence fragments and rough ideas, that's what it's there for. Start with exactly what you do and be as specific as you possibly can. You know, list every service you provide, but here's the key, list them in order from most profitable to least profitable. So if you can break that down into percentages or even rough dollar amounts, that's just gonna help ChatGPT understand 
what it should be emphasizing the most. Then write down whatever makes you unique or special or better than your competitors. In other words, now is the time to brag like your business depends on it. You know, how do you do it better than your competition? What do you know that they don't? And what results do you get your clients? Then I want you to list out all the inclusions that every client gets when they work with you, uh, whether it's, you know, 24 hour support, dedicated reps, weekly sessions, you know, just think of every single thing you can, even if it seems small or like a no duh, of course that would be included kind of thing. Finally, dump everything you know or think you know about your ideal clients, their age, their location, income level. But more importantly, what's that knot in their stomach, right? What problems are they desperately trying to solve? And what dream outcomes do they really want? So this document becomes the foundation for everything else we're gonna do here. It's kind of like giving ChatGPT a crash course in your specific business. So once you've got it, download it, we're gonna need it for step two because there's usually a huge disconnect between how businesses describe their services on their website and how their customers talk about their own problems. You know, you might say, comprehensive IT support solutions while your customers are over here banging their head on the wall saying, I can't believe my freaking computer crashed again. So that gap between how you talk and how your ideal client talks about the same thing can kill the sale. Your perfect client could land on your website and leave just because they don't see their problem reflected back in your words. And that's where voice of customer research becomes pure gold. You're gonna use ChatGPT's deep research mode to find the exact language, the words that your customers use, so you can just steal them to build a bond with them. It's almost too easy. First, you wanna switch on deep research mode. Then feed it your business data dump document and have it research actual message boards, review sites, and forums where your customers hang out. You want it to find those exact words that customers use to describe their problems. Not what you think they say, what they actually say. Have it write out all the specific phrases that they use for what they want and what they've already tried that didn't work. This is huge because if you know that, you can position yourself as different from what failed them before. Then just have it organize everything into categories with real quotes, their pain points, the symptoms. In other words, what are all those little ways that this problem shows up in their daily life? Their dream outcomes, the solutions that already failed them, and how they actually make buying decisions. Make sure it includes actual quotes from the message boards and reviews and have it focus on the patterns that show up over and over again. So if multiple people are all saying the same thing, you'd be crazy not to use that on your website. Most businesses are missing important sections on their website that actually drive conversions. Things like social proof, benefits, or FAQ sections that handle objections. Meanwhile, they're cluttering their sites with all this random stuff that they think should be there, but it actively hurts conversions and you have no way of knowing what should stay or go. So we're just gonna spy on the big players in your niche. More often than not, the big guys have spent a lot of time and money on testing and optimization, or they've at least hired some really good web pros who knew what to put on their site to make them so successful. So they've already figured out what works. And we're just gonna borrow their proven structures and adapt them for your business. All we have to do is use ChatGPT's agent mode to analyze the biggest, most successful companies in your niche nationwide here, not just your local competitors, but the ones who are absolutely dominating your industry whatever that is. Have it break down their websites page by page and organize all of its findings into a document. For each page, homepage, about, services, contact, it should write down what sections they include and in what order. And you wanna make special note of any unique pages or sections that the big guys use that you should add yourself, like case studies or process overviews or you know, industry specific tools if those exist. Just copy and paste everything that it gives you into a new document. Now, you may run into a problem where even the biggest of your competitors haven't gotten it all figured out themselves. They just happen to be doing well despite their bad website. So rather than guessing, what I would actually recommend to make this stronger is to base this part on the pages and sections 
that I've personally figured out over the past decade to work for every single service business out there. So if you wanna know what pretty much every service business website needs, to automate client generation, I'm leaving a link to my free masterclass in the description below. That way you can at least reality check what they're doing against what we know works to see if they've got anything worth copying. Okay, here's where all that research finally comes together in the most satisfying way possible. So to put it all together so ChatGPT can write your website for you, we need to create and train what's called a custom GPT. That's basically just a specialized version of ChatGPT that remembers everything about your business permanently. Think of it like you're hiring a real copywriter and you're training them on your business, except once they're trained, they never forget anything. And don't worry, this is really easy. Just make sure the sidebar is opened up, then go down to GPT's Explore, then click on Create and you wanna name it something like Website Writer. And don't worry about the description part, but we're gonna give it really specific instructions. I'm not gonna read the exact instruction, it's pretty long, but you can just uh, copy and paste it from the description below. Then you wanna upload your three research documents. So this is your business data dump, your voice of customer research document with all those customer quotes, and your competitive intelligence research showing what works best for your biggest competitors. Now you've got a custom GPT that knows everything about your business, your customers, and what works in your industry. Nothing to do now, but put it to work. Just ask it to write each page one at a time. Start with your homepage, then your about page, service pages, and so on. The copy it writes should use actual customer language from your voice of customer research. It's gonna follow proven structures from your top competitors, it'll emphasize your most profitable services, and it'll speak directly to your ideal client's pain points, and desires. And if you want any changes, all you gotta do is highlight the parts that you wanna edit and tell it specifically what you don't like about it. And really try to be as clear as you can about what you don't like or what you wanna see instead. And it's gonna instantly rewrite those parts for you. Now look, this method gives you incredible website content, but if you don't know the exact pages and sections that every service business website needs, you could write some pretty brilliant copy that sits on a website that still doesn't convert. I've discovered over the years that every successful service business website needs the same five to six pages with the same proven sections that just create this really uh, crystal clear clarity about what you do and why someone should choose you. So when you combine this ChatGPT method with my proven website structure, that's when you get a site that actually generates clients in autopilot. And that's why I created my free masterclass, how to build a client generating website that sells your services for you. It's gonna show you the exact framework, all the conversion elements you need, and even how to build it yourself using a really simple no-code builder all in a single afternoon. And I'm saving you a seat, so click the link right here to sign up for free.